It's an all-out war. Mexican drug cartels gunning for each other. In the middle, victims caught in the crossfire. Since 2006, more than 30,000 people have been killed in this fight that gets bloodier by the day. And the battle is raging in border towns like Tijuana, Juarez, and Nuevo Laredo. At stake, control of the smuggling routes that feed America's insatiable appetite for drugs. Our borders have been porous for decades. Obviously, the problem is greatest along our southern border. President Barack Obama has called for beefed up border security, in part to keep the drugs and the violence out of the United States. The government is building stronger fortress-like fences, adding more cameras, even deploying the National Guard to assist the Border Patrol. But tighter border security isn't a surefire solution to the border problem. In fact, as fences get stronger, smugglers are getting even more brazen, finding other ways to get into the U.S. Like going under the border, smuggling drugs and people through tunnels like this one, 30 feet below the surface in Tijuana. It's an elaborate passageway, complete with electricity and ventilation, upwards of six feet tall and wide enough for two people to walk side by side. Drug trafficking is an estimated $14 billion industry, and tunnels like these can be lucrative pipelines into the U.S., so more and more smugglers are going underground. In fact, since 2001, more than 100 tunnels have been discovered along the southern border. And in the past two years, tunneling activity has gone up 65 percent. It's basically the, the cartel and smuggling organization's mechanism to go around the increased presence along the port of entries and between the ports of entries. Tim Durst works for Immigration and Customs Enforcement as the special agent in charge of a tunnel task force. He and his team try to find the tunnels before smugglers reach the U.S. Lately, they've been busy. On this day, the task force investigated a small hole near the border fence south of San Diego. They suspect the hole could be part of a large tunnel's ventilation system. And with holes like this uncovered almost every day, Durst says stopping the smugglers isn't easy. It's uh, baby steps at this point. And if it's tough to find smugglers underground, it can be an even bigger challenge on the water along the U.S.-Mexico coastline. Out here at sea, there are no border checkpoints, no border crossings, just miles and miles of open ocean. And how vulnerable is America's coastline to the threat of smuggling right now? Well, certainly uh, maritime smugglers are exploiting the coastline. It's very difficult to cover such a, a wide area. Coast Guard Lieutenant Jamin Stortz is part of a multi-agency team that patrols the Pacific Ocean looking for smugglers. This year alone, they've already made almost 800 arrests. 50% more than last year. Stort says smugglers are trying to dodge tighter security at border checkpoints on land by sailing their way into the U.S., often hiding in plain sight on luxury yachts and other pleasure craft. If they can blend in with that, try to look as legitimate as the next guy, um, maybe law enforcement won't see them. A new wave of challenges that a fence can't contain. Brandon Scott, CBS News, along the U.S.-Mexico border.